Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all staying safe. I know most of you are aware of all the fires that have been going on recently, um, not only in Greece, but all over the world. Um, please keep Greece in your prayers as well. Um, I think we're like in the top three in Europe um, for the worst wildfires that are out of control. Um, along with Turkey, I actually think Turkey is worse. Um, so my heart goes out to all of you, anybody watching from Turkey. I know Italy has also been really affected. Um, Russia, California, a whole bunch of places, a whole bunch of places. So I will be praying for you as well. Um, it's just really, the situation is really, really bad here. Um, so yeah, um, just wanted to make sure I said that. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections, Twin Souls, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, where there is a third party involved. It can be a situation, but I'm doing the reading as if it is a romantic partner. So just take the messages as they resonate. And of course, because it is general, it's not going to be for everybody's situation. Okay, so you can make your own discernment for that, all right? Um, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And a big, big thank you to those of you who have been getting personal readings and for everybody who has been giving me tips for your readings. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, especially because I do, I do get charged quite a bit for the conversion rate into, um, euros. So thank you. All right. So let's see, we're starting off with the masculine. Just going to get some general energies to start off the reading. What is going on with the masculines? And I'm doing the reading as if it's the masculine who is involved in the third party situation, but of course it could be it could be the feminine, okay? So just take it as it resonates. Ooh, and look at that, we have letting go. Okay. I feel like we're going to be seeing a bit of the lion's gate effects in this reading. Let's see what else. Ooh, all right, all right. <laughs> so we have mask, destruction, and conclusion. Okay, this is the destruction of the mask, basically. Um, I'm definitely feeling this. I've been feeling this for a large group of the masculines this whole week, actually, this whole past week. Um, things are really blowing up. There's a lot of intensity, a lot of intensity going on. I feel like, you know, for if this is for some of them who were still wearing a mask, still not able to express how they truly feel, or at least not 100%, like maybe just throwing hints here and there, I'm talking about to the karmic partner or the third party, um, this masculine is now completely removing that mask. That mask is destroyed. This masculine is completely transparent about the fact that they want to let this go. They want a conclusion. All right, so this is now something that is very obvious, I feel, within the connection, all right, with the um, karmic partner, third party, however you want to label it. So, let's get into it. Let's see. Masculine's energy towards their partner here or a karmic situation. So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, two Knights in reverse. What is going on here? I feel like things are getting really, um, it's almost feeling a bit chaotic. So I feel like they're at this point where they're just feeling a lot of, a lot of turmoil. So it's not calm 
at all. <laughs> if anything, it's quite the opposite. And I do feel like they're going to need to um, reach a place of um, a bit more calmness before really bringing on this conclusion. I feel like this destruction has to happen first, um, just overall. And so they will be going through this period of chaos, um, especially now that things are out in the open. So there's a lot of restlessness, but basically this masculine wants to lay down this burden. Like there's some kind of a weight, some kind of a heaviness that has been lifted off of their shoulders. But even so, because what I'm getting here is that they're, they're still there, all right? They're, they're still there. Um, because of that, there's a lot of restlessness, a lot of intensity. And this is also going to be playing out in their interaction with, um, with this person. Also keep in mind that the, the timelines can vary a little bit. So for some of you, um, this might actually be the energy that is coming up, all right? And for others, others of you, this could be something that has recently happened or that is happening now. All right, let's see what else we get. Alright, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse, so let me just get one more. Alright, the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay. Alright, so... Huh. Yeah, like I said, there's, there's a lot of restlessness, a lot of intensity. Again, um, as I said, that they, for the most part, are still physically there. Okay, this is being confirmed to me by this, with this Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, because it's like the complete action has not been taken just yet. So the mask is removed but also with this um, knight of wands being in reverse and the knight of swords actually being in reverse there's still a little bit of that back and forth there's still a little bit of this inconsistency like yeah i'm showing you my true self right now i'm sh i've showed you how i truly feel i've been completely open about it it's making me feel crazy but then i kind of you know maybe back back out of it a little bit but for the most part, it's it's out in the open. All right, now this is causing the masculine to feel, um, yeah, okay. If you, any of you who have cats, you know how hard it is to get them under control. All right, um, feeling a sense of loss. Feeling a big sense of loss here um, and also feeling the coldness. I feel like with this Queen of Swords in reverse, this is the masculine actually being um, a little detached, but in a way where it's kind of like feeling like the whole situation is a bit surreal. It's that kind of a detachment. So I feel like the masculine will need to snap back into reality um, at some point here. So. If Mannix will allow us, okay, wait here, so people can see Mannix. People want to see the cards. All right, we'll clarify a couple of these. So let me clarify the knights, actually. Alright, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, ooh, the Chariot, and the Magician in reverse, clarifying the Knights. Alright, so here's the thing, the Masculine is ready to take that practical step. Alright, it's like they have opened that door in the 3D, in the physical world, they have opened that door to take action 
and actually move away from the situation. And this is a very big, big step. All right. Now we do have the magician in reverse because it, again, it's just confirming what I said. Um, they're kind of doubting their own selves, whether they can actually go through with it to the end. But that first step, which is a big major first step, it's not like one of those little steps that I've talked about in other, um, in other readings where I was talking about baby steps or taking a little first step. This one is a huge one. This is like a leap. They've opened that door. Um, they just haven't fully, completely manifested it yet. And that's because of the little bit of back and forth, the shakiness, um, it being something new, it being something scary. It's going to be different for, for all of them, right? This is just general. So let's see this Five of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, it just is, it's coming across like the masculine. It's like, number one, just really communicating what they feel because the, it's just burning inside them. I still feel like there's, hold, there's a little bit of holding back for just the um, completion of it. But there's a lot of communication going on here. And because of that, this is why they're also feeling like either they're feeling abandoned in a way or feeling alone, like in this situation, like they have to deal with it on their own um, or just feeling like they're still feeling that push. They're still feeling the drive to move forward regardless of any setbacks, regardless of possibly making um, the other person feel like they're being left out in the cold. I feel like that might be contributing to holding them back a little bit. For some of them, it could be um, finances and concerns about finances, but it's not stopping them with the Eight of Wands. Let's see the Queen of Swords. All right, we have justice, which actually showed up in reverse. There's, yeah, okay, so this detachment that they are feeling, um, it is making them think a little bit as to whether they're making the right decision. And this is why I said that they're gonna have to snap back into reality in order to be able to complete this and calm down a little bit because there's a lot of restlessness. They're gonna have to find a little bit of um, peace within this. But at the moment, this is something that is very necessary in order to get them to even you know, open up that door. As I said, um, it, it literally feels like it's the, um, for this group, it is the beginning of the end for this connection with this other person. That decision, the final decision, um, which of course justice can also represent divorce, is yet to be made. But it's like the door has opened for that. So let me actually move these over here and move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. And Alex, we kind of need the space here. But I know a lot of you guys always comment about Manix and you like seeing him in the videos, so that's kind of why I'm letting him stay here. I will just work around him. All right, so let's see. Masculine's energy towards their feminine. All 
All right, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse, and the Six of Cups upright. Okay, so this is the masculine not coming in just yet, not really offering you their cup, and I definitely feel like this is something that is not making them happy. They wish they could do it sooner. Um, there's this deep longing, a deep nostalgia, a deep desire for, for a reconnection here for things to be the way they once were with the feminine and they cannot do so just yet they're not offering that cup just yet and that's because obviously they're they're in a very chaotic um emotional state at the moment as i said emotional mental just overall just overall and i feel like yeah, they are thinking a lot about you here and thinking about the reconciliation um, but I feel like they want to do it in the right way they don't want to do it just yet because they feel like it's not going to be um, right to come forward just yet that's why we have the Sun in reverse I also feel like you know there are things that the masculine is hiding from you at the moment um, for some of you I feel like for others of you they might actually be pretty open about all of this that is happening here and then for others of you they could be hiding it because they just don't want to give false hope. And I feel like I've said that before. Um, so I feel like I'm tapping into a similar group that I tapped into recently. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. So we have the Five of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit. There's a lot of regret here. Again, this is also another card um, thinking about the past. There's a lot of regret for things that may have happened in the past or the way that they dealt with things in the past or the way they treated you in the past or just whatever decisions were made in the past. And I feel like they're still kind of holding on to that. Um, feeling like they don't know how this can be repaired. That's how that, that is coming through. Um, so yeah, so a lot of them are in this hermit mode. Like I said, I do feel like for some of you, um, the masculine might be open, but I feel like for most of you watching, especially having the sun in reverse and then now having the hermit, um, the masculine is actually holding back from allowing things to show to you because they want to be independent first. They want to be standing strong, they want to be grounded, they want to have come to this place of being just completely free from the other situation. And this is why they are in this hermit mode. But the hermit is also representative of going within and really finding answers about themselves or about a situation from within. So this is and it can definitely be a very heavy energy as well. Um, it's kind of like, for some reason, it's reminding me of the destruction card, even though it's not a destruction. It's just the heaviness of it and the seriousness of it. Like just really um, having had either major revelations, having thought a lot about this and about you and about what all of this means taking the situation a lot more seriously than before, knowing and even regretting the fact that they were not um, free of this earlier, feeling a lot of guilt towards you. And this, because they're feeling that guilt, I feel like some of them are actually embarrassed and that is why they're also um, kind of like in hiding, so to speak. So let's clarify some of these and then we'll move on. All right, so let's clarify that top row. All 
All right, so we have ooh, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Star. All right, so the Two of Cups with the Knight of Cups, which was in reverse. So this is the thing. This is why they're feeling depressed, all right? Especially the Sun in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. This is a lot of depression when it comes to the feminine. And the, like I said, there's a lot of nostalgia. Um, just because they're not being, they're not able to give you this cup at the moment or they're not choosing to, that love is still there. They're still feeling this Two of Cups. They're feeling like they want this connection. They're feeling the emotions. They're feeling like the feminine is who they belong with, basically. Queen of Wands, this is how they're viewing you, right? As being very desirable. There's a lot of passion. They're seeing you as being confident or just being, you know, really strong in your own power and... I would even say some of them are even almost like a little bit jealous, but not in the negative way. Like it's it's more like um, a positive type of jealousy, like ad like an admiration, like wanting to be like you. Um, and I feel like again, a lot of this is a result of the of the hermit here right that deep soul searching and this is why they're feeling so unhappy and so depressed because they wish they could have this sooner and that's why they keep reminiscing and thinking about the past so the star clarifying the six of cups um really wishing for this like wanting this so badly all right let's clarify the bottom row So for this group of masculines, there is no denial of their feelings. Um, they're feeling their feelings pretty clearly. They know exactly how they feel about you. There is no doubt when it comes to you. All right. So we have the Two of Wands, the Sun upright this time, which is interesting, it's right under the other Sun, um, and the Six of Cups, which is right under the other Six of Cups, but in reverse. So very interesting. So yeah, I totally feel like a lot of times it doesn't even really matter if they are in reverse or not. Um, I'm reading them intuitively anyway. Um, so this is a lot of regret. This regret is for not having made a move sooner, for having waited, all right, with the Two of Wands. I feel like this is a masculine who has been ready for a while now. They know that they have been ready and they just didn't take that step. They were just looking at it, looking at the future with you, looking at the dream, looking at what they wanted, um, and just not really doing what was necessary. This is what they are feeling guilty about. And possibly for a lot of you, for, for you waiting. For having put you in that position where you where you had been waiting all right um they know that this this liberation from the karmic partner and them being liberal that is what is going to bring them their son so that is the thing here they are working on becoming um independent and free this is something very much on this masculine's mind and they know that this is what will get them out of their unhappiness now i do feel like for some of them they are a little bit pessimistic feeling like well can i really be happy but I feel like that's more of a feeling of the past for this group. And it's like they've overcome that. They've overcome that pessimism and that victim mentality of I can never be happy. And now they've moved on to, you know what? It's freedom and independence that's going to bring me that happiness and get me out of this depression. And that is also, this is also representing the um, energy towards the feminine. Meaning that they know that once they're free and with the feminine, that's when the sun will be upright as opposed to being in reverse here. Because you are the one, you are their queen of wands, right? You are the one that they're feeling this two of cups for. You are what they're wishing. This is like, I can't even make this up if I wanted. Um, so yeah, the six of cups here, clarifying the hermit. This is actually, because the Six of Cups are being in reverse here, them having kept this distance, them having had to um, be withdrawn from you or just choosing to, whatever, this has caused them to miss you even more and to really think about the past but in a way where it's creating a lot of negative emotions. There are positive emotions wanting to go back to how it was, right, with Star. 
Um, but it's also creating a lot of negative emotions because this is something that they really miss or that they are deeply longing for. They have not released the past here with you. All right. So, um, let's see what's going on with the feminines. Have choices. What is this about? So the feminine seems to be faced with um, some choices at the moment, which could be just about anything. It could be, you know, whether you're still waiting for the masculine or not, whether you should believe the masculine if you're able to see this. Um, whether, you know, you would even want to go back to this, even if the masculine were to um, release this connection it could be a choice of whether to get involved with somebody else who might be um, approaching you or giving you an offer it could be just about anything but the, these feminines right now in this situation are being faced with some choices here All right, and we have Mute, Contemplation, and Pride and Ego. All right, okay, so you, it might be that you're actually keeping quiet um, about these choices for some of you, or at least you're not presenting the full story, or you're just not, if you are in contact, you're not going into detail. Um, Basically, I feel like you're kind of keeping these choices to yourself and just really contemplating about these choices, about the alternatives that you that you are faced with right now. And we also have the Pride and Ego card. So, um, I feel like this is a message just for, for some of you to just, you know, kind of be aware when it is that your ego might be kind of um, controlling your choices. More so than what would be in your highest good, for example. All right, and that can play out in a whole bunch of different ways. I'm not gonna give examples because I don't wanna waste time on that. I feel like if you if this is happening for you, which would be totally natural, it happens to all of us, um, to some extent at least, you know, I feel like you, if you're in this group, I feel like you are, um, you have enough insight to be able to kind of pinpoint that for your own self. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that at that. And I'm gonna put these here because Mannix is like right where I would wanna put those cards. And, Right, let's get some, just a couple of tarot for you. You know, this could even be a message for some of you, you know, to just don't be too quick to talk about certain choices that you have, especially if you feel like it might be out of ego or out of pride, you know, that you want to kind of like display, like look at all these choices that I have. Um, if that is the motive behind it, you know, just be a little bit um, mindful of that. I think I just got another message come through. All right, before, before I look at these cards, um, I can't, I, I honestly can't remember exactly what I said before, but what I'm getting now is to also make sure that the choices you're making are not based just off of pride and ego, okay? Um, you, there might be some, some um, options that are being offered to you where they might be tempting because it might make your ego um, feel good. 
So I feel like that is the precaution here, you know, to just be mindful of that. Think it through and, you know, <laughs> I mean, mute would be kind of like, you know, um, don't, don't let your ego um, speak over your intuition, all right? Make sure that you really think it through. So that's going to be for, for some of you. All right, so for the tarot, for the feminines, we have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like it's the same message. It's the same message coming through. Okay, so this, this might not be for all of you, again, but I feel like for whatever percentage of feminines is watching this video that needs to hear this message, it must be very important, okay, um, for it to be coming through again. So for the rest of you, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, just um, bear with me. So... It does feel like for a very specific group of you, there is um, someone here that is giving you an offer, all right, with that Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like, you know, you... You might be wanting to take up this offer, again, for your own reasons to satisfy your ego in a way where it's not really going to be, um, it's not allowing you to be free. It's not really allowing you to be you. For some of you, it might be a, a, a way of just um, kind of, you know, um, covering up for your own self, the aloneness or, you know, just feeling lonely and, but that would be avoiding you really standing in your nine of pentacles energy, really being grounded, really being self-reliant. Um, so again, I feel like this is just for a very specific group of you. It does not necessarily have to be um, a person giving you this love offer, although I feel like for most of you it will be. For some of you, it could be just about anything else, okay? Just any kind of choice that comes into your life. Um, but of course, you know, use your intuition. Maybe something is coming along that is great. You know, of course, don't listen to this reading if that is the case. You know, trust your intuition. This is just a message for some of you. And if it resonates, if you're already feeling that intuitively, then this is when you take the message just as a confirmation for what you're already feeling, okay? So, um, yeah, let's see if there's anything else for the feminines because that was pretty specific. Let's see if there's anything else for their larger group of feminines here. The Knight of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, yeah, you know, it's, it's a similar message, so... Just be aware of, just be really aware of your choices, all right? Be really aware of your choices and of other people who might not be that stable, that might not be that secure as they appear to be and that, you know, whatever you're doing, you're doing it because of you and because you, this is something that you feel like is good for you and that you're feeling it, you know, on a, on a deeper level. And that it's not just a self-defense mechanism or that it's not just doing something um, to satisfy your ego, basically, okay? It's the same message. Spirit's like, nope, nope, we need to drive this point home for whoever needs to hear that. So I'm going to leave that at that. And let's see what is coming up in the next week or so. And this reading is longer than what they've been recently. All right. So for the masculines, what is coming up in their energy towards the 
karmic situation. All right, the Two of Swords, the Hermit in Reverse, and the Seven of Wands in Reverse. All right, there's still a little bit of this back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. Still a little bit of this back and forth, but also knowing that there is no there is no um, progression here. There is no solution. There is no saving this connection. All right, two of swords. This is two people who are incompatible, not in agreement. That's just never happening. End of story. Um, again, with the hermit, the way that it's coming through in this particular case, the hermit being in reverse, especially together with the seven of wands in reverse, um, this is them again not being withdrawn actually from this connection. Um, so I do kind of get the sense that where they were in this state of like disillusionment or feeling like it's surreal and just, you know, maybe being um, distant in a way, I feel like they're kind of coming out of that. It's kind of like all the inner work that they've been doing. It's like now ready to come out and be shown. They're, le they're like releasing whatever defenses they had against the defenses they had against their their own self not in other words not needing to feel defensive against the against the karmic partner or the um, third party situation or whatever it is they are allowing themselves to be vulnerable like you know what this is how i feel you know what can i do like this is just me i don't need to hide anymore basically i don't need to hide my feelings anymore and I don't need to run away from them anymore. I still feel like this is coming in with a little bit of a hesitation, but it's still coming in. So I actually feel like it's a little bit similar to um, to to what they've been going through. I just see it as possibly being a little bit less um, a little bit less chaotic, a little more settling down. So I actually want to. Um, I just want to get a clarifier here. All right, and we have strength. Yeah, so there it is. Having the strength <laughs> to be vulnerable, basically, to be like, you know what, this is how I feel, end of story. And I know that might sound a little um, counterintuitive, like why would they need to be vulnerable? Actually, what they need is to like fight, but it's actually that they need to be vulnerable even to their own selves about how they feel and to allow themselves to be vulnerable for whatever pain they might feel or for whatever disappointment they might cause or whatever um, losses they may need to face. They need to be vulnerable to that and that's how this is coming in not hiding, not blocking out the karmic from what they're truly feeling. Having the strength to do so. Um, all right, so let's see for their energy towards the feminine. The Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and Justice. All right. They're wanting this. This is this is actually action. This is some kind of action um, coming your way, even regardless of where they'll be at when it comes to the um, third party situation here. This is them really fantasizing, first of all, about these um, <laughs> these cups, the happiness, the pleasure that they can have with you, the wish fulfillment, right? They have that wish, the star here. They have that hope. And this is them 
really wanting this and I feel like with the Knight of Swords this is them moving in that direction but most of all this is actually planting the seeds they're beginning to do something but it's going to actually be action oriented whatever it is that they are doing here so it could be communication for some of you they might be um, letting you know that that you know things are um, blowing up with this other situation whatever the case is and we have justice. I feel like this is going to be a major decision that they're making in some way to either communicate this to you or in some way try to make up formulating a plan to take action and make up for um, the mistakes that they feel that they've made in the past for what they feel like they have mistreated you or you know the regrets that they have they want to make that right here with justice and these are actual actual like physical physical steps that are being taken it's not just it's not just in theory anymore, all right? Because this is the masculine who, like I said, is out of the victim mode and is really feeling like, you know, optimistic that, yeah, you know what? I can have happiness. I'm not doomed. They're letting go. So very, very positive reading. So I do hope that this resonates for a lot of you because it does seem to be pretty positive, at least for the masculine side. Alright, so let's close this off with a couple of oracle cards. All right, and we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. I actually feel like this is a message for the feminines. Um, I feel like the masculine already is looking at the bigger picture. I feel like this is a message for the feminines. Look at the bigger picture, possibly when it comes to a choice that you need to make um, or just this whole situation, if, you know, if it's left you um, feeling disappointed look at the bigger picture what it is that you have learned the experience that you have gained the soul growth that you have gained and i do feel like a lot of you are already doing that anyway 